سخن هفته لطفا به چینل ما مشترک شوید I have been asked to respond to uh, statements by Mr. Anwarul Haq Kaukar, the caretaker a Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, in regards to Afghan refugees in Pakistan, Afghan settlers in Pakistan, and also on the uh, on his uh, views on a certain historical events that took place during uh, the 8th, 19th century in, uh, during the British India in uh, Afghanistan and uh, as well as in uh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa uh, province of uh, the British India. Also uh, mentioned that he himself is a Pashtun. That's unfortunate that he's a uh, Pashtun because a Pashtun, an Afghan, will uh, not uh, make such a shameful statement. Uh, maybe this is because of his lack of historical knowledge. He mentioned the Treaty of Gandumak and he mentioned that uh, Afghan leaders sold Afghan, Afghanistan and Afghans to the British. I should uh, remind Mr. Anwar Haq that at the time, this is the uh, time of a uh, second Anglo-Afghan war, uh, uh, the British, the British India um, attacked Afghanistan from, uh, from the north, from Chitral up to Kandahar. Uh, Kabul was um, uh, in the verge of uh, being uh, occupied by the British army and the British army could go on and, and occupy the, uh, all of Afghanistan. As a result, uh, Amir Shir Ali Khan uh, forced to go uh, seek uh, assistance from the Russians uh, in Mazar Sharif. Unfortunately, he passed away in Mazar Sharif as, and his uh, son, uh, an inexperienced Yaqub Khan, took uh, uh, the throne uh, in Kabul. And at the time, the British armies uh, marched toward uh, Jalalabad, took Jalalabad and marched toward Kabul. And they camped 110 kilometers uh, east of Kabul, uh, a place where, uh, which is called Gandumak. And Gandumak, uh, and at the same time, the British armies uh, attacked Kandahar and captured Kandahar and, and moved toward Kabul. Uh, so this was a, a desperate time for Afghan uh, rulers and for, for Afghan people. To avoid that, um, a young and inexperienced Yaqub Khan uh, accepted uh, the terms dictated to him by the British. The British, this is interesting, the British camped in Gandumak. This is the same place that the British army was decimated 37 years uh, earlier at this first Anglo-Afghan war. And uh, only one survivor uh, from the British reached uh, uh, Jalalabad, uh, Dr. Bryden. So British were on a, a, a revenge and uh, mission, on a punishment uh, mission to Afghanistan to avenge the death of thousands of British uh, troops in Afghanistan during the First Anglo-Afghan War. So they dictated the terms of the Gandamak Treaty, which uh, unfortunately was signed by the uh, Amir. And this Amir, Yaqub Khan, uh, knew that uh, with that signing of that treaty, he doesn't have any room uh, within the Afghan society. This is why he, he, he uh, resigned and asked British uh, rulers to, um, uh, to take him as a refugee. And so they did, and they sent him to India. And the British uh, moved in and uh, Kabul and occupied Kabul. However, 
what happened to the British uh, in Kabul is, is, is in the history. Uh, they were all uh, defeated. Uh, their um, head of their mission, Q Nari, was uh, killed, and the British um, was uh, forced to uh, to retreat. And then they were uh, f uh, they were defeated at Maiwan uh, War in close to Kandahar, and the British completely. Uh, uh, lost the plot, uh, lost the the, the 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 war in Afghanistan, and uh, forced to uh, uh, retreat from Afghanistan. I should remind Mr. Uh, Anwar al Haq um, Kaka that uh, people in Khyber uh, Pakhtunkhwa, in Mumen, uh, they uh, they fought uh, the British. Um, 16 years after that uh, Treaty of Gandumak, people of Mooman in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa who fought the British. I, could, I am uh, uh, quoting uh, a statement by the, uh, a certain Sir Winston Churchill, who was uh, at the time a young 20, 22 years uh, 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 journalist uh, embedded in British Army in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. And uh, uh, this is what uh, he, um, uh, Sir Winston Churchill wrote at the time. He said, he was, uh, and I quote, After today we begin to burn villages. Everyone and all of who resist will be killed without quarter. The moment need a lesson. And there is no doubt we are a very cruel people. This is... Winston Churchill of the British Empire, who wrote for Daily Telegraph of London in 1879. So the British shows the brutality of the British, and this shows the courage of people of moment of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa who fought the British. And also, I should remind Mr. Admiral Haq Kaukar that. Um, a famous saying by, by uh, Sir Winston Churchill is that you can hire an Afghan, but you cannot own him. What happened during the, the colonial time of British India for uh, 300 years, uh, you, you cannot turn around to shame your people, to accuse your people, to, uh, to belittle your people. That is shameful. Uh, about the refugees, I should remind you that Mr. Um, uh, Pashtun, uh, uh, the, 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 the Pashtun Tahafuz movement uh, um, uh, activist and, and head, he, he just himself recently said that you yourself, Mr. Anwar Harkat Kaukar, uh, used uh, an Afghan identity in Britain to, uh, to um, take uh, residents in Britain. Uh, um, now, if you are forced to take an Afghan uh, uh, passport or an Afghan identity to take the advantage of the, uh, um, um, the hospitality of the people of Britain and the government of uh, Britain to stay in, in Britain, now you, uh, you know, treating Afghan refugees, Afghan settlers in Karachi or other cities in Pakistan, who have been there for, for tens of years, some of them all of their lives, some of their families for all of their lives, lived there, worked there, and, 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 and provided to Pakistani uh, society. Now you are mistreating them uh, and uh, trying to force them to, uh, to, uh, to be removed from Pakistan. I should remind you, if this happens to thousands and thousands of Pakistanis who live in, uh, in, in Britain, in Canada, in America, in Australia, and those who overstayed their uh, um, uh, visas and they do not have any uh, legal uh, documents, if similar uh, treatment is given to, to uh, you, uh, your citizens in those countries, you will be crying your brains out. Uh, and you will be accusing these countries of racism. It's shameful that you uh, have taken this course of action to hide your failure, your government failure in dealing with the problems Pakistan faced. 
Pakistan has a lot of problems now, economic problems, security problems, and, and other uh, problems. Uh, Pakistan's economic problems are not uh, created or not caused by the Afghan settlers in Pakistan. It is the failure of Pakistani economic uh, uh, system. It is the failure of this, uh, the state. However, you, uh, uh, your treatment of Afghan settlers is trying to find a, sta a scapegoat for your failures. You uh, talk about the security situation in Pakistan. Afghans are not responsible for uh, the security situation in Pakistan. This, uh, the current uh, um, security uh, situation in Pakistan is uh, a symptom as a result of the uh, tens of years of, of Pakistan uh, establishment um, policies uh, toward the terrorist groups. During the last 40 years, Pakistan used the non-state actors to promote its uh, foreign policy uh, uh, targets against India, against Afghanistan. And uh, you created um, uh, snake charming farms, snake rearing farms. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and one day uh, these snakes uh, uh, definitely will bite you back. Afghans uh, in Pakistan are not responsible for, uh, for the uh, terrorist activities within Pakistan. Uh, even the Afghan uh, Taliban government, they maintain their loyalty to Pakistan's uh, establishment. They did not declare the, the terrorist activities uh, in Pakistan as jihad, while the Pakistan establishment always, uh, always uh, viewed the activities of the Taliban in Afghanistan and other jihad groups in Afghanistan as jihad. Um, this is what uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan uh, clearly is taking so many times, and other Prime Ministers and Presidents of Pakistan were the same. Uh, uh, at the time of uh, Ziaul Haq, they, they were crying that the um, jihad of Afghanistan is uh, is uh, jihad for Pakistan. The Pakistan government is uh, trying to find scapegoats and uh, the soft spot they found were the Afghan uh, settlers and the Afghan refugees in Pakistan. While you benefited billions of dollars of, uh, of the Afghans being in Pakistan during, uh, from 19, early 1980s to, uh, to, uh, to now during the uh, jihad against the Soviet Union, during the uh, jihad against the Americans, you were fine with the Afghan uh, refugees, Afghan settlers in Pakistan. I would suggest that you read history, you read the history of uh, your own people, history of Pashtun, history of Afghans in general, then speak about uh, being sold by the ruler. لطفاً با چینل ما مشترک شوید.